Game Trailer, 2011 Game of the Year Awards. Most Innovative. With the rough economy and the console cycle getting long in the tooth, publishers are inclined to play it safe these days. Yet, even some of the oldest franchises manage to surprise us with new ideas. Meanwhile, independent developers, unfettered by stockholders and marketing teams, are putting out games worthy of competing with the big boys. Whether they're based in technology or design, the following innovations have changed the way we look at the medium, and we fully expect imitators to come in the near future, if they haven't already. It is time to fly! And the nominees are... Driver, San Francisco. Man, finish your damn donut, then I'm taking you to a shrink. The latest in the Driver series sounds familiar with an open world of races and stunt challenges littered throughout San Francisco. What separates it is the ability to switch cars on the fly without having to throw an old lady to the curb. Whether it involves using a big truck to block pursuers or managing multiple vehicles in a race, Driver shift mechanic turns traffic into a chessboard. And it's up to you to pick which pieces to play. Hang on! Screwing up here. You said it. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Taking motion control swordplay beyond the realm of minigames, Skyward Sword has some of the most challenging combat in the series, requiring you to watch your enemy's stance, strike from the appropriate angle, and actively counter with your shield. Plus, while Nintendo has explored the interaction between alternate worlds before, Skyward Sword's time shift crystals merge its environments on the fly without the need for portals or lengthy loading screens. The most impressive of these areas form a bubble around Link that seamlessly transitions between time periods, creating a pocket of ocean in the middle of the desert and reviving monsters from dry bones. L.A. Noir. I'll lock you up for a son of a bitch! Playing as a detective in 1940s Los Angeles is certainly a refreshing concept, but the real star of L.A. Noir is without a doubt the motion scan technology from Depth Analysis. Using 32 different cameras to capture every angle of an actor's face, the technique brings the actor's true performance directly into the game. In a game about interrogating witnesses, this becomes a crucial component as you try to read a person's state of mind and determine whether they're hiding something behind their cold exterior. Few studios can create facial animation remotely as lifelike, and as the technology improves, it could pave a new road for the future of facial animation. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you gonna stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? Minecraft. With its blocky retro looks, Minecraft has a deceptive sense of simplicity, masking a complex world based in discovery and experimentation. The process of finding resources and crafting items often yields surprising results and interactions, and players who invest enough time in its quarries can build castles, roller coasters, and just about anything they can imagine. You learn by doing, and that in turn fuels the creativity that drives many to build so much more than they would have believed was possible at the start. <laughs> Skyland Spyro's Adventure. Ooh, what? Call it a diabolical cash grab if you must, but there's no denying the brilliance in Activision's combination of toys and video games. Each of the 30 plus Skylanders characters is a real physical object, meaning that if you want new heroes and elemental techniques, you'll have to make a run to the store. Your character's experience is saved directly to the toys, allowing for cross-platform play, whether you're visiting a friend with a different console or taking a trip with the 3DS. While others will surely jump on the figurine bandwagon, we're most excited about severing the ties between game and machine as we continue playing wherever we go. <laughs> and the winner is... Minecraft. It's telling that Minecraft was massively popular more than a year before it was released. Even more telling is that it sparked similarly successful imitators. It puts you on the path of creativity, leaving you to the compulsive process of mining and building with unforgiving consequences for failure. Sure, we've played games like Little Big Planet and SimCity in the past, but none of them satisfy man's primal impulse to build like Minecraft. It inspires you to believe that you can do anything.